Mobileye produces microchips and systems for autonomous driving. At the current price, the company has a market cap of $25 billion. With $1.2 billion of cash on the balance sheet and no debt, the enterprise value is $24 billion. Revenue over the last 12 months comes to $2 billion with almost $300 million of free cash flow. However, net income is negative $27 million owing to a significant amount of stock-based compensation. These figures make Mobileye look like an expensive stock, particularly when you consider the company's outlook for 2024. Management thinks revenue will fall 9%, with operating income set to plunge 50%, and it was this news that sent the stock down by a quarter in January. And high levels of short interest indicate that a number of investors are still short the stock. However, it's important to understand Mobileye's valuation in the context of its long-term strategy. Crucially, Mobileye has a highly profitable driver assist business that is used by automakers all over the world with operating margins over 50%. But instead of collecting the cash on that business, Mobileye is aggressively reinvesting into self-driving. Products include Supervision, which uses cameras to provide advanced driver assistance, and Chauffeur, a full tech stack for autonomous driving. This is a growth market with huge rewards on offer, and Mobileye has already secured contract wins with the likes of Polestar and Chinese automaker Zika. Management projects around $7 billion of revenue already from recent design wins. But despite that potential, competition remains a big risk because many automakers are now developing their own self-driving solutions. Tesla's deep learning approach is the most obvious example, but major Chinese manufacturers are following a similar path. Li Auto is seeing success and chose Nvidia over Mobileye back in 2020. Another Chinese firm, Horizon Robotics, is reportedly planning an IPO later this year. There's a sense that Mobileye has a better product, but that may not matter with rising geopolitical tensions. And in that context, Mobileye's 30% exposure to China may not be to its advantage. There are simply many scenarios that could play out, and that makes it hard to model Mobileye's future profits. Even management implied that current valuations seem about right, and it's worth considering whether Mobileye contract wins should be further along than they are. With competition only likely to increase, I give this stock a neutral rating, but these are my personal opinions, not financial advice, and I hold no position in Mobileye stock. For more investing videos, make sure to visit my website at freeminutebreakdowns.com. Thank you for watching.